Hi guys, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog and welcome to another fragrance haul. Uh, this time it's not going to be super long, there are only three fragrances and they are all by Jo Malone. So if you want to find out what I picked up this time, keep watching. Let me start with a quick reminder to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, like this video if you like it, obviously, uh, and let's start with the fragrances. So the first thing I'd like to show you is this little set here. Uh, these are two of uh, Jo Malone Classic uh, Eau de Colognes. So this is how it looks inside, and the reason why I purchased two colognes is that I had this free cologne from uh, Jo Malone's Advent Calendar last year. Uh, and to use it, I had to make a purchase on their website. So I decided to go for two of them, even though I have to admit, I'm not a massive fan of those like ivory sticker colognes, the classic colognes by Jo Malone. Uh, so I, there is one fragrance I actually love here. So that was an easy choice for me. I knew I would take that one. Uh, but I had a hard time picking the other one. Uh, but let me just start with the one that I like. So this is the wood sage and sea salt uh, cologne and honestly guys I have to tell you I love it. This is like lovely aromatic salty aquatic marine fragrance. It's one of the very few marine related fragrances I actually like. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think it's a nice unisex fragrance. Uh, it's gorgeous for summer, especially for summer, but I think you can pull it, pull it off in, uh, in winter, not in winter, in springtime too. The main notes here are sea salt, sage, grapefruit, umbret, and seaweed. And I hate grapefruit, uh, but it smells gorgeous in here. It smells really nice. And I have to tell you, uh, this one was a no-brainer for me. I knew I would have to buy it. But then I had a really hard time uh, with picking up the other one. Um, as I said, I'm not a massive fan of their classic colognes. Uh, they're a little bit too citrusy, lightweight for me, or sometimes they're just not wearable. Like for example, the Blackberry, uh, Blackberry um, and Bay, that one. I, I love how it smells, but not on me. Um, so I didn't really know what to choose. Uh, and I decided to go for this one, which is Poppy and Barley. So what convinced me to purchase this fragrance were the notes, uh, and I'm going to quickly read them to you. So the top notes here are fig, black currant, violet, the middle notes are wheat, powdery notes, poppy, and the base notes barley, white musk, and bran. And I have to tell you, I'm actually quite impressed with this fragrance. So this is gorgeous, fruity, floral fragrance with some pow powderiness, obviously. This is not unisex. For me, this fragrance is very, very feminine, actually. Perfect everyday springtime, summertime fragrance. I'm actually quite happy with it. It's a little bit different to what I own. I have to tell I just, I love, I especially love all those like wheat and barley notes. They make this fragrance quite unique and different to, to anything, honestly. So yeah. Uh, this was a good choice, uh, definitely. I'm quite happy with the two fragrances I own. I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of the um, the ivory sticker coins. Uh, they're just not my thing. Uh, but the third fragrance I have is uh, something much, much better. This is the Cologne Intense. Uh, look at the packaging, I love the bow thing. Uh, so can you guess what I have in here? So my choice uh, was Mir and Tonka Cologne Intense. And guys, I have to tell you, as much as I'm not a fan of the uh, classic ones with the Intense collection, I pretty much love anything, apart from the tuberose one, because I'm not a massive fan of like strong tuberose scents, uh, but anything else is just gorgeous. And this is probably, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's one of my favorite fragrances there. I love it. I also love the fact that even though this is still a cologne, although intense, um, it actually has a quite a good lasting power. As opposed to the uh, classic colognes from Jo Malone, obviously you can't really expect extreme longevity from uh, colognes that are meant to last on your skin for two or three hours. So um, you can't really expect more than that. Uh, the intense uh, fragrances actually stay on your skin for much longer, which is quite cool, especially, you know, that they're not really that cheap, right? Uh, so Mir and Tonka. So the list of ingredients here is quite simple and short. It's lavender, Mir, Tonka, vanilla, and almond. Obviously Mir and Tonka notes are the most prominent and that's actually true. 
This is a gorgeous, sweet, almost gourmandish scent. It is a uh, very like warming. I think it's perfect for evenings uh, and more like a autumn and winter time rather than spring, but it's super sexy. I think this is a great unisex fragrance. I can imagine both men and women uh, wearing this. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And I have to tell you, I can't really wait to get more of these uh, Cologne Intense fragrances because they are just amazing and they last on my skin, which is so good. Uh, so definitely this is not the last one for me, uh, but I'm not really expecting to get any more of the ivory sticker ones. So there you go, what do you guys think? Uh, please let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite scent from Jo Malon. Uh, do you like the classic colognes or do you prefer the uh, the black uh, bottle ones? Uh, I would love to know your thoughts, so please share them with me in the comments below. If you are interested in more fragrance content, please remember that we post a uh, fragrance-related video every Friday now. Also, you will find links to other videos on my left side so be sure to check them out uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and i'm going to see you very soon in another fragrance video uh, take care bye